Morning, welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Another sunny morning here in Mitcham, so everybody's happy. Um, nice win uh, for England against um, Ireland in the Test match. A bit of a run out. I know Ireland aren't the strongest of teams, but they've done a really good job. So three second innings, great comeback there to make England back again. So uh, well done Ireland and well done England. So uh, next to the big game, which is uh, next Friday, I think, um, England Australia. So can't wait. So onwards and upwards. So anyway, I had a reasonable week, but first just going to go back onto last week's ball that was uh, uh, eagerly spotted behind my shoulder, um, which is a ball that was used in the last match, the 1928-29 tour to Australia, MCC, and this was given to uh, captain of the Ormond uh, LV James. It is signed, but you can only really make out a couple of them on there now, but um, with infrared light you can make a few more. And there's Les Ames there, and I can see Geary fairly clearly, and that's which is there. So that's quite a nice ball. Bits and bits of stuff hanging off of it. So it's obviously a well used ball in that last game against the Australian 11. So a nice ball there, well spotted, Matthew. So that's the little story behind that. So let's do that. So anyway, I've turned up this week, I've had an interesting week this week. Um, first thing that arrived was this lovely little signature here of. Uh, William Thomas Cook, who was Surrey boy, who was mainly the second team captain, but played 32 matches in the first team. And got about 1,400 runs. He was an opening batsman and captain of the twos. And just going to, I knew these would come in handy. Um, in 1927, he was second in the averages. Uh, there he is there, second in the averages. Captain as well, uh, W.T. Cook. 17 in, 613 runs with a high score of uh, 124, uh, average of 38.31. So not a bad player, um, but obviously just on the fringes of the first team. But um, I see some decent names there, down there on that uh, second list there. Daly, Brooks, Gregory, Baldwin, Wilson, Moby. So some good players in that second team there. And they finished uh, one, two, three, four, five, six in the league there. Winners were Staffordshire. What about that for a surprise? Um, they played 10 matches and got 90% uh, of his points. So there we are. So that was 1927. And uh, William Thomas Cook there. So that's another one onto the Surrey list. So uh, anyway, another one, lovely thing that turned up was another addition to the CMS cards. It's John Murray, Middlesex and England player. The keeper was at this meeting, so... Uh, as I say, why I didn't get the cards on, I don't know. But anyway, we're getting there now. We're on the countdown to uh, at the last 10, I think. So uh, doing well there with that. I come away from Australia. Thanks to Andy again for tipping me off for that one. So that's arrived this week. And then the other thing that's arrived this week is this lovely Ken Farns card, signed card. And it's by uh, Albert Wilkes and Son, photographers of West Bromwich staffs. So there's Ken there. Tragic story of him uh, uh, dying in the, uh, well, just after he completed his RAF course, died on his first night flight uh, with his girlfriend uh, waiting in the uh, tower. So, um, anyway, so that's a pretty sad story there. Cameron is a great fast bowler, went on three tours to, the, well, one to the West Indies, just a photograph there of Ken on the West Indies. It looks a bit like sort of a Trinidad type place, that one, but uh, not quite sure where that photograph's taken. But over the years, it's uh, um, the uh, tour diaries that he wrote for the 1938 tour uh, were given to me by his niece. Um, fascinating insight into the tour. Some lovely bits of uh, information there on um, going over on the on the uh, uh, ship, um, which is great. This is uh, what was this the um, Durban Castle? I think this was so. Some great information in there. I'm very pleased, pleased to have it, I've got to say. Um, annoyingly, it's uh, it stops just before the timeless test. So um, the page is just torn out there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but uh, just at the back there, it's got his uh, Christmas card list. Oops. I'll just show you those Christmas card lists. I don't know who they were, but um, I'll see some... People deserving of his Christmas cards. So there's his ex Christmas card list there. So he's crossed them off as he sent them. Um, can't actually read many names there. Mr. and Mrs. Hall, I can see. But um, 
Uh, anyway, so there he was. He ended up as a headmaster at uh, master at um, workshop college. So he was a great fast bowler. There's no doubt about that. Um, so unfortunately, he fought down in the war. Um, not in anger either. But anyway, there we are. So that's his diary there. This is another diary here, which was started by his niece, and it's got the 1936 toward Australia in it. I mean, she she made this one up with all the um, newspaper cuttings and everything. So uh, I see in the front there was uh, a newspaper clipping of um, of Farns 97 not out, which was his highest score. 97 not out. Uh, that was against Somerset at Taunton. So he done well there. He wasn't uh, uh, sorry for getting. Well, certainly wasn't all rounder really. But um, that uh, 97 not out would be an indication that he might have been an all rounder. Um, so we've got the picture of the ship there they went out on, the Orion. Um, it's nice uh, interesting information just about the stuff and the, where they go out on the tour and stuff. Extra tests for the MCC team, what's all that? T-Wade with MCC, so that's a nice one there. T-Wade, he was Essex man that was a reserve keeper. But uh, just happened to be on the, uh, in Australia, but uh, didn't play any test matches. It's when uh, Duckworth and Ains were injured and then the, with those diaries you've got the Ken Farns diary of an Essex master which was done by uh, who was it done by David Thurlow is assigned David Thurlow 2000 so 23, 23 years old so if you want to get a, a information on Ken Farns's diaries that's a book to try and get hold of and um, say so this uh, the poignant thing on the 1936 seven toward Australia which we obviously lost is the uh, fifth test match, and you've got uh, Ross Gregory there, Court Headley, Bowl Farns for 80. So quite a poignant uh, um, scorecard there. All three of those lost their life in the Second World War, sadly. Um, two in a plane crash and one, well, one um, Verity was shot, I think. So uh, very sad, but quite a poignant um, wicket there. And the other one that's uh, in the collection was this lovely one, Tours and Tests by Ken. Um, this one is um, to Norman, who is his brother. Um, lots of love, or love to all, Ken. Uh, 24th of 5th, 1940. So that's a nice, quite a rare book there. The, the uh, Unfortunately, the dust cover's not that great, but quite a rare book indeed. They go for quite a bit uh, on, the, on the market, so quite pleased with that. So a few other bits here of Ken. So I mentioned the South African tour, and here it is there. Um, this one's got a full Kenneth Farns on it, so that's the one to get hold of there. That's an official one there to us to um, South Africa. Lovely photograph there of a Durban Castle. Um, oh, sorry, Athlone Castle. What I'm talking about. So yeah, so very nice there too. That's a nice one. Thirty-eight tour. On this test, of course. And we've got the lovely thirty-six, thirty-seven Orion there. In Venice, nice one there. Great start to the tour, but unfortunately petered out and lost three two. As we know, Bradman came to life on the, in the third test. That's a nice photograph there. And a couple of other nice photographs. Here's Ken with the nineteen thirty six team, large one here. Nice uh, picture there of Ken. Nineteen thirty six, and then the last one. I'm going to show you today. It's this lovely. Um, I've showed it before, but this is a lovely one for uh, the South African tour, 1938, 39. Nice ones down there. Um, Ken, just say Ken there. So it's a lovely photograph there of that team. Very famous, timeless test. And the last thing I'm going to show you today is this lovely um, sheet of. 1936-37 tour there. Um, beautiful signatures there. So that's a nice full set of, uh, without weight of course, but um, I've got him on the menu. But uh, So there we are. So that's a nice bit there on Ken Farns. Uh, so anyway, that's about it for this week. There's just a little thing there. So I'll just wonder if you can guess what's in that nice Tiffany & Co um, pouch there. So you'll guess this week. So uh, see what you can think. 
players were given they're given that when they played down at uh, um, Getty's ground. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that little presentation and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.